Hello friend, you are watching ER Mac Coder channel and in this video we will discuss on the form controlled component and how can we make a good understanding with form state or multiple state when you start the making a UI for the form user form or any application form it should be make good understanding with controllable component or controllable state so this is the second part and i have already make a first part uh, video it's uh, based on form controller and previously and this is our second video so that we can make a a good understanding with form because form is a very important when you making a, any type of development so always to make a, post anything or get anything from the database that is a basic need of the any application or entire application like web development app development anything so uh, how can we get this uh, like I have uh, give you the demo. How can we do this? Like uh, we have entered the our username like Atul Tripathi, and uh, email is admin as the red gmail dot com and submit. And it's submit inside our uh, console. So that is not only a console, it's a, a showing here for the uh, making good understanding, uh, understanding, but it's not the submit inside our console. When you submit the button, these two data are entered in a database like MongoDB, MySQL or any type of database you can uh, enter our detail of the user or any application or any form like that so that how can we do this uh, i have make two input inside input to make a value my value is always give the dynamic so this two is our uh, initial state and name initial state is empty email initial state is empty and uh, handle submit is our form submission uh, event so inside our input we have make a uh, write a value is uh, on chain so on change is nothing but it's a make when any uh, change inside our value so it's set in our uh, final state so it's a uh, update uh, on change is the update of our initial state uh, like initial state is empty when you enter any uh, data inside our input field so it check the initial state is empty and current state is something like any input value so all the your input value are uh, changes with the help of set name so it consider the event dot target dot value what uh, type of value are entered inside our input field is get the on change with the help of on change event handler we can uh, update our set name like uh, uh, initial state is empty and uh, when we write anything and submit button so it's uh, change the initial state name is a updated state and same thing is with email state so these are two uh, basic concepts 
and uh, third concept is a and most important concept is a event dot prevent default that is a pre uh, defined uh, function inside our react library it's used with the functional component when you uh, communicate or post or get any data from the database you have using the any browser like firefox uh, uh, chrome or uh, opera mini like that any type of data, uh, web server you, you can use for the fetching the data or communicating with database with client side so this is provide the uh, cookies barrier to be destroyed so that when you uh, submit uh, your input uh, detail uh, as a form detail so it's uh, uh, clear the barrier path so that we can directly to post our uh, form inside our database so when you uh, post anything inside a database it should be mandatory for the post of data inside our restful api or any other database directly to the database like firebase or anything so thank you to all my viewers best wishes to you